28 seconds. 25. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Sibbers. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We have ignition and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the fourth space based infrared system for the United States Air Force. Providing launch vehicle ascent data. The program is complete. Mr. S. throttled down as expected. Mach 1. Mr. S. throttled back up. Coming up on SRB burnout shortly. Performance continues to look good. RD-180 chamber pressures continue to be steady. And we have indication of SRB burnout. Current altitude is... 14 miles, downrange distance, 11 miles, current velocity, 2,622 miles per hour. Booster has throttled down, as expected at this point in the mission. And the vehicle is now 50% its liftoff weight. RD-180 continues to perform well. Coming up on SRB Jettison. And we have indication of Jettison of the SRB. Looks like a clean separation. New Alpha closed loop steering has begun. Booster has begun roll bias pointing. RCS pyro valve has been firing. That uh, system is now pressurizing to flight levels. Signatures look good. Current altitude is 43 miles. Downrange distance, 94 miles. Current velocity, 6,691 miles per hour. Booster has throttled back, as expected. Currently, the vehicle is 25% its liftoff weight. Coming up on our 5G throttle segment, whose space cooldown is underway. Google pyro valve has been fired. Now throttling to maintain 4.6 Gs. Whose space cooldown is complete, and we have Miko. We have stage separation, box and fuel pre-start on the RL-10, GN2 purge firing is underway. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. And 
and we have payload firing jettison. Indications are a good jettison. RL-10 is burning a set mixture ratio for the early part of this nine and a half minute burn. Chamber pressures, injector for uh, fuel venturi and discharge all look good. Center has now begun the closed loop view portion of the burn. This is Atlas Mission, Mission Control at T plus 5 minutes, 30 seconds. Marty Malinowski just confirmed the successful completion of the early phase of today's flight, and all systems continue to operate nominally. The mission is currently in the first of two Centaur engine burns. Our next event, Centaur main engine cutoff, will occur in approximately nine minutes. Mars been set to fixed angles in preparation for MECO. And we have Miko. Engine shutdown looks good. We have 4S settling on. And we've begun the turn to MES 2 attitude. And begun the PTC roll at 1 degree per second. Fuel tank pressures have been vented down and are stable. Storage bottle pressures are stable. Batteries look good. We have fuel pre-start. We have locks pre-start. Ignition and full thrust. This burn is scheduled for just over five minutes in duration, followed by approximately a 13 minute coast to spacecraft separation. As Marty Malinowski just reported, the Centaur main engine has been restarted for the second of two Centaur engine burns. This burn will last approximately four minutes. The Atlas V continues to travel in a southeasterly direction. Following our next event, Miko 2 or cutoff of the Centaur RL-10 engine, the Atlas V will cross over the African continent where the trajectory will switch to an easterly heading. Separation of the Sibir's GeoFlight 4 satellite will occur over the Indian Ocean, east of Madagascar. Listen in as Marty Malinowski reports the next MARC event. Off the stop and it's now controlling your nominal MR. Engine pressures have adjusted accordingly. Everything looks good so far. RL-10 continues to look very good. Our CS thermal conditions are excellent. Seeing our typical thermal conditioning firings, the proper intervals.
Sent our tank pressures, bottle pressures, and batteries are all good. Our old 10 continues to perform well. Centaur continues to accelerate at 1.1 G. One minute to Miko. Our all ten continues to operate well. Accuracy system looks good. Join near nominal MR. MR has been set at fixed angles in preparation for Miko. And we have Miko. Engine shutdown looks good. We have 4 settling. We have begun the turn to spacecraft separation attitude. And begun our ETC roll at minus 1 degree per second. Center has now achieved its roll rate. Our fuel tanks have been vented down and are stable. Storage bottle pressures look good. Batteries are stable. Center has begun spin up for spacecraft set. Now rolling at positive one degree per second. And we have indication of spacecraft separation. Centaur has despun.